Hi everyone, my name is Anaïs and I'm a guide working at Terra Azul. So welcome again to one of our special episodes in our Well Zone series. So today's question is why is the equator a natural barrier for cetaceans? And if you have any more questions you would like to answer, just click on the links below or check our webpage in order to have more information. So ocean processes like water temperature, salinity, depth, topography of the sea bottom, uh, climate change, food distribution and food abundance it have a great impact on marine organisms and their migration. Among cetaceans, baleen whales can be found all over our oceans worldwide. They travel and um, participate in migrations in order to feed and also in order to give birth. So they will feed in cold waters and they will give birth in temperate or tropical waters. So females travel to tropical waters to give birth they do so because their calves, when they're born, they need to develop a very thick layer of blubber. It's very thin when the calves are born and it needs to grow with time. Blubber is a layer that protects animals from cold temperatures. Some baleen whales do not migrate due to the fact that they are either at a juvenile stage or at a post-reproductive stage. So these migrations are not meaningful for them. There are 15 different species of baleen whales. The longest migration ever known is the one of the gray whale. They can travel up to 14,000 miles from the Sea of Okhotsk to the Baja Peninsula in Mexico. Some species migrate shorter distances. For example, Brutus whales only migrate from temperate waters to the equator. The equatorial front is a boundary line just north of the equator, between the equatorial surface water of the equatorial Coltong and the warm tropical surface water to the north. So to answer our questions, northern and southern populations of the same species of whales do not meet due to seasonal changes in the northern and southern hemisphere. While the northern populations are normally breeding and calving in tropical waters when the northern hemisphere's winters occur, the southern population are feeding in polar feeding grounds. Also changes in the salinity and temperature of the equatorial front prevent marine mammals from crossing it. So now you know why baleen whales of different hemispheres do not cross each other. So just like always, at every end of our videos, we give a few tips in order to reduce plastic consumption. So here they go. If you want, you can buy a bamboo toothbrush or a bamboo hairbrush uh, in order to reduce the plastic ones. And you can also try to shop in bulk uh, to reduce packaging. Use a menstrual cup instead of tampons. Try to use quality products that you can reuse and reuse, for example, sandals. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this educational video. And if you wanna see more of our educational videos, please check the links below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.